All right, hey guys. Uh, I'll make. I'm gonna make a couple videos uh, for beginner trappers on the gear you need, whether it be uh, water trapping coons, uh, dry land coons, uh, predator trapping, uh, and water trapping muskrat, beaver, and otter. Uh, so there's gonna be three videos about that. Uh, so this video is gonna be. Uh, water trapping uh, for muskrat, uh, otter, and uh, beaver. Uh, so we're going to start with the muskrat. Uh, if you're going to get into trapping beginner uh, and you want to trap muskrat, uh, this is some of the things I use. It doesn't take a lot of uh, gear to trap muskrats. Uh, some of the tools you'll need uh, is just a pair of pliers. Uh, never know, you might have to cut wire and tie a trap to a stake or something. Uh, if you're going to use a little bit bigger trap for uh, muskrats, then you'll need a pair of a setters. Uh, and you're going to need some kind of waterproof gloves because uh, the water is going to be cold out and it's miserable if your hands get cold. Uh, so I recommend waterproof gloves. Uh, you're gonna need some kind of stake uh, for traps, whether it be uh, con bears like one tans or uh, leg holds. Uh, I make you can buy uh, trap uh, stakes, the metal stakes for like con bears, but I just make my own, uh, just a wooden. Uh, stick here uh, with a screw drilled in here and so you just set your trap set it down here and the springs the screw goes in between the springs here and it sits there and you'll move your uh, spring up against here to put pressure against it so that it won't move at all and they work really good uh, another thing you're going to need if you're gonna do, if you're not gonna use conda bears and you're gonna run leg holes, uh, you can use a variety of different leg holes. Uh, I'd recommend a, a Duke one and a half. Uh, they're just a good all-around trap. Uh, if you're gonna start with muskrats, uh, they're a good trap. And even if you move to like raccoons, it's a good trap. Uh, but it's a good trap for muskrats. Uh, if you do use those. Uh, you can either use a drowning line uh, and use a sandbag like here and fill it up with rocks and wire it to the end of the drowning line and then stake the other end uh, where your trap is up on the bank. That works or you can just have your trap with a piece of cable here uh, depending on how deep the water is. Uh, you can make it either uh, longer uh, or shorter, uh, but you would uh, stake the cable out in the water a few feet out, and uh, the natural thing for a muskrat, if it gets uh, in danger, it's going to head for water. So if, when the muskrat gets caught in this, uh, the one and a half thing is going to head for water, the trap is heavy enough, then it's going to drown them. So you don't always have to have drowner lines, uh, but it's a good thing to ha use them because uh, it makes sure that they go all the way underwater. Because uh, some muskrats, they kind of just go to the edge of the water and they just kind of sit there, and it doesn't always drown them. Uh, another good trap is uh, like the 110. Uh, they're cheap, uh, they're easy to set. Uh, for younger trappers, they might be a little more difficult. Uh, if you can get used ones, those are the best because the springs are a little bit lighter and better for kids to set. Uh, but they're really good muskrat uh, trap. Uh, but if these are not really in your budget, uh, you can go out and buy either already built colony trap or you can go and buy a roll of this. Uh, wire, uh, cage wire, 
and you there's videos on YouTube that show you how to make them and they're real easy to make uh, and you can catch multiple muskrats in these traps I think I've caught three or four in one of these uh, so it's a lot better than uh, trapping with a 110 but maybe you only have a couple muskrats and you want to trap over a longer period of time and you don't want to get all of them at once if you're just starting out and you want to just have the fun of maybe getting one or two a day then I just go with the 110 uh, if you're gonna uh, use the drowner line you're gonna have to have some kind of hammer uh, so you can put a stake in up uh, on the bank uh, but that's pretty much it uh, if you're going to use the Kana Bears, uh, you're going to need safety grips. Those are very important to have. Uh, and if you're going to trap, then you're going to need something to carry your traps in, whether it be like a little tote like this. It can be all different sizes. Uh, or even a trapping basket like this. This is a plastic one. They work really good. Uh, so if you're going to trap muskrats, uh, they're not hard to catch. Uh, if you're going to use drowner lines and leg holds, uh, you can set them along the bank uh, so you, they're blind sets or if you're going to make a kind of like a bait set, you're going to use either carrots, apples, or parsnips. Uh, that works really good for the bait. and So it doesn't take a whole lot of equipment uh, to trap muskrats. Now for beaver and otter, uh, you get into a little bit uh, bigger traps. Uh, if you're going to catch beaver, uh, I've got some 330. Uh, they're easy to set. I mean, you do have to watch. You do want to use your safety tools with them. Uh, but a 330 is a really good trap for a uh, beaver. Uh, you can either buy the stakes for them, uh, the metal stakes, the T stands or the H frame stands, or just use uh, old beaver sticks at where you're trapping. Uh, these can be set in hole in front of the den holes or in channels. Uh, I wouldn't go any lower on trap sizes than the 280 for uh, beaver with the cona bears. Uh, so if you do get old traps, you might not have to have setters if you're in a, like an adult that's starting trapping, but if you're a younger person younger trapper and then you're gonna have to have the, the setters. Uh, now if you can't really, uh, some of the cotton bears, some places, uh, they are kind of expensive, you know, 15 to 20 dollars a piece for a 330. Uh, but an, another good trap that you want a little bit more of a challenge is uh, to set slides or uh, capture mounts uh, and you're going to use a leg hold. Uh, a good just starter trap is a, a Duke number four. Uh, that's what I use. They work really good. Uh, all these traps, they'll, uh, like the 330 and this number four will work also good for otter. Uh, you can use pretty much the same gear, same traps for beaver and otter. Uh, I wouldn't go any lower on a foothold than a number three. Uh, if you go any lower, then you're going to have a lot of misses, and if you catch them by the toe, then they can just pull out real easy. But if you're going to use a leg hold, then you're going to have to use a drowner line. Uh, and if you're going to use a drowner line, then you're going to have to have some kind of staking system, whether uh, you can use a T, uh, rebar T stake, uh, <clears throat> even an old beaver stick, uh, but you want to anchor it to uh, in the ground as good as you can because they are powerful animals. And instead of carrying like, uh, uh, like bricks and stuff like I said with for drowner lines, just use like your sandbag and you can fill it up with rocks when you get there. Uh, but you're also going to want to have the gloves too when you're trapping them. 
uh, but for bait or lure, uh, just you can buy beaver caster. Uh, works real good. Uh, for otter, uh, you can set like on uh, channel sets with 330s underwater for otter. Uh, I've never really baited any otter, but I know like fresh fish uh, works real good. Uh, you can make pocket sets for otter just like you would a coon. You would put it on a drowner line and you put fresh fish and use otter lure uh, on that pocket set and it works just, just the same as a coon. I've never used them but I, I hear that they do produce otter so you're going to want probably a trapping basket if you're going to trap uh, beaver and otter uh, just because they're the traps are a little bit bigger they are heavier uh, even if you catch like a 50 pound beaver and you have to walk a quarter mile uh, a basket comes in handy because you can put it on put them in there throw it on your shoulders like a backpack and walk out uh, so if you're going to trap water trap uh, real good and another tool I forgot to mention is a hatcher and axe uh, if you have to cut some kind of stake uh, to hold your trap uh, to stabilize it uh, or you can even use instead of having a hammer you can just carry an axe or a hatchet because they work good to pound in uh, stakes as well uh, Another I forgot to mention is wire. You can't all, can't have enough wire uh, if you're gonna trap, especially uh, beaver, to wire your traps to either logs or uh, trees or anything. So a good roll of wire is always good, uh, but it doesn't take a lot to start trapping beaver. Uh, but I didn't start with a whole lot, just a few traps. Uh, but they are fun to trap. Uh, so if you want to get into either muskrat, beaver, and otter trapping, uh, this is some of the stuff you need. Uh, so hopefully this helps you on some of the stuff. Give you a visual on some of the stuff that I use on the line for beaver, uh, otter, and muskrat. So I hope it helps and hope you start trapping this season. And we'll talk to you later.